Highboot has been a unique company from the very beginning. We started as a startup company from Tokyo Institute of Technology, and the core people were coming from different countries, Italy, myself, Brazil, and Japan. Among them, there is also Professor Hirose, who is a worldwide robotic pioneer with more than 40 years of experience in mobile robotics. Every single person is complementing each other because we're coming from computer science, electronic engineering, and mechanical engineering. And robotics is just about that. It's a multidisciplinary field. We all started in an academic environment, but from the beginning we had to face some really tough projects and that exposed us to the real world. We got a lot of field experience, sometimes against our will, and it just forced us to be creative and to come up with new ideas and concepts to solve problems that no one had addressed so far. So putting together the international background, the accumulated experience, the understanding of the academic and now industrial world, together with the environment that pushes you to be creative, I think that makes Hybot unique. An innovative company should have a multidisciplinary and a multicultural staff. This in order to create different ideas from different points of view. The environment is also very important. It needs to foster creative thinking. And most of all, I think the company should not be afraid of taking risks. It's a sort of that kind of blind desire to solve problems that will generate solutions and possibly new markets. Our motivation here at Highbot is to make the world a better and a safer place with robotics. We're focusing mostly on robots for maintenance and inspection of infrastructure. And one of our goals is to have those robots assist in human operators in dangerous places like a nuclear power plant, for example, or in places where people cannot or should not go. We keep on improving the know-how that started a long time ago with Professor Hirose's research on biologically inspired robots. And we're using that to develop snake-like robots that are now being used in pipes of refineries and power plants. So if we use robots for inspection and preventive maintenance, we can cut costs, keep people away from dangerous places, avoid accidents and potentially save lives.